One of the most well-supported theories ever devised by humans is special relativity. It holds relevance from space exploration to GPS to our electrical power infrastructure. The speed of light in a vacuum is an absolute constant, which is important to relativity. That truth, however, has never been confirmed. It was to explain why light always had the same speed that Einstein proposed the theory of relativity. Because light travels as a wave, it was considered in the late 1800s that it must be transported by the luminiferous ether, an invisible material. Waves, like sound in the air or water waves in water, require a medium to exist. However, if the ether exists, the apparent speed of light must fluctuate when the Earth passes through it. However, measurements of ether drift came up empty. Light appeared to travel at a constant speed. Einstein found that the problem was in assuming that time and space were absolute, and the speed of light could vary. If instead, you assumed that the speed at which light traveled was absolute, space and time must be affected by relative motion. It's a novel concept, but every measurement of light's constant speed supports it. While the theory of relativity assumes that the speed of light in vacuum is a universal constant, it also demonstrates that the speed can never be measured, according to numerous physicists. You can't measure how long it takes light to travel from point A to point B because of relativity. You'd need a synchronized stopwatch at the opposite ends to measure the speed of light in one particular direction, but relative motion changes the pace of your clocks in relation to the speed of light. You can't synchronize them until you know how fast light travels, which you can't do without measuring it. You can measure the time taken in a round trip from A to B and back to A with a single stopwatch, which is what every measurement of the speed of light accomplishes. You could think that because all round-trip speed of light measurements gets the same answer, you can just divide the time by two and call it a day. This is precisely what Einstein did. He assumed the travel time was the same both ways. Light does not have to travel at the same speed in all directions, it only needs to travel at the same average round-trip speed. If the speed of light is anisotropic, relativity still holds. We are looking back in time when we look at faraway galaxies because light takes a considerable amount of time to reach us. We would see the universe differently if the speed of light varied with its direction of motion. We would perceive the universe, in one direction, as more expansive and older if distant light reached us swiftly from that direction. We would see less back in time. As a new study demonstrates, this isn't the case. It turns out that, if light speed varies with direction, so does length contraction and time dilation. The researchers looked at the impact of anisotropic light on the Milne universe, a simple relativistic model. It's essentially a toy universe with a framework identical to the real one, but without matter and energy. They discovered that light's anisotropy causes time dilation and cosmic expansion to have anisotropic relativity effects. The visible impacts of shifting light speed would be cancelled out by these effects. In other words, the universe would appear homogeneous even if it was anisotropic due to varying light speeds. So it seems simple cosmology isn't able to prove Einstein's assumption about the speed of light either. The most fundamental ideas in science can be the most difficult to verify. If you like the video make sure to like and share it. Subscribe for more daily content like this.